Hello students, this is 1.27, a particle moves in the plane xy with constant acceleration w directed along the negative y-axis, the equation of motion of the particle has the form y equal to ax minus bx square, where a and b are positive constants, find the velocity of the particle at the origin of coordinates. This is 1.27 problem of high zero and how will we solve it? Let's see one more Solution. According to given condition, y coordinate of the particle is related to x coordinate by this equation. y equal to ax minus bx square. A particle moves in the xy plane with constant acceleration. With constant acceleration means magnitude of acceleration is constant. Magnitude of acceleration is constant directed around negative y axis. It means uh, direction is also constant. So we can say that vector acceleration is constant. <coughs> the equation of motion of the particle has the form y equal to ax minus bx square, a and b are constants, find the velocity of particle at the origin of coordinate. According to given condition, y equal to ax minus bx square, differentiate this equation with respect to time, we will get dy by dt equal to a dx by dt minus 2bx into dx by dt. This is the relation between uh, y component of velocity, x component of velocity and position vector x coordinate of position vector of the particle. So this is dy by dt equal to a dx by dt minus 2 bx dx by dt. First equation is this. Again differentiate with respect to time. We will get d square y by dt square equal to a d square x by dt square. This differentiation is with respect to time. Minus twice b is a constant. Differentiation of this by product rule is x d square x by dt square plus dx by dt and differentiation of x is also that, so dx by dt whole square. This is the second condition. Now, if question, a particle moves in the x y plane with constant acceleration directed along the negative y axis. It means acceleration of the particle, acceleration of the particle, acceleration vector of the particle is like 0i minus omega g. This is the acceleration vector of the particle. The particle moves in the x y plane with constant acceleration directed along the negative y axis. It means there is no component along x-axis and omega is the acceleration of the particle along j-axis with the negative sign represents negative direction. And equation is this, a and b are constants, we have to calculate velocity of the particle at the origin of coordinate. At the origin of coordinate, it means our calculation is on 0, 0 coordinate. This is origin of coordinate, 0, 0. So if we put this 0, 0 in this equation and these two are values of d square x by dt square and d square y by dt square. This acceleration vector in a standard form is d square x by dt square i cap plus d square y by dt square j cap. So on comparing these two, we will get d square x by dt square equal to 0 and d square y by dt square is minus omega. Put these two values in this expression, we will get minus omega is equal to 0 minus 2b into 0 plus this is vx, velocity x component, whole square. So minus omega equal to minus twice of b, vx, whole square. It is velocity x component, whole square. So this implies omega by 2b equal to vx with under root. This is the value of vx. So velocity x component of the particle is under root omega by 2b. And by putting this value of vx in this first equation, we will get dy by and dy by dt by first equation will become a times dx by dt, it is root omega by 2b minus 2b into 0 and dx by dt. Since calculation is at the origin of coordinates, so the value of x will be 0 at that point. And this dy by dt will become a into under root omega by 2b. So this is the velocity y coordinate and this is x coordinate of velocity, this is v. So complete expression of velocity will be vxi plus vyj. So velocity of the particle v vector is vxi plus vyj equal to root of omega by 2b i component plus a times root omega by 2b into j component. And if we want to obtain the magnitude of this one, then making a method like this. This is the modulus of this one. A square of this plus a square of this with the root. It is root of 1 plus a square, root of, it is 
root 1 plus a square, this value is the root of 1 plus a square, it has um, v mod v modulus equal to under root of v modulus equal to under root of omega by 2b plus a square and omega by 2b. This has velocity vector. And uh, by solving this, we can obtain omega by 2b is common and 1 plus a square with this is the velocity vector of the particle under root 1 plus a square omega by 2. This is the value of velocity of the particle. So, velocity of the particle at origin is um, under root omega by 2b i plus a under root omega by 2b j. This is the modulus, and by solving this expression, we will get under root omega by 2b 1 plus a square. So, this is the answer of the problem. Thank you.